Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I am uh, in my home studio, otherwise known as my kitchen, because it's the best light in the house, uh, and I've got a new product to show you. Now, this isn't a drone, uh, but it's something that I am going to use while making my drone videos, and I was very excited to see it. Uh, the folks at Hollyland sent me their uh, Lark 150 uh, microphone system. As you can see, I haven't even opened up the box yet, but uh, a lot of uh, several reasons I'm excited about this, uh, this guy. Uh, and if you are a YouTube vlogger or otherwise need to get good audio uh, like I do, it's something that as a creator, I think we all struggle with getting good audio. Particularly like when I'm outdoors, there's often wind and a lot of other things to uh, contend with. Uh, I'm often walking away from my camera where the microphone is mounted, so I need something, a transmitter like this, that will get me uh, away from the camera so you can still hear audio because the camera is typically what records the audio. So, uh, yeah, let's quit messing around. Let me open up the box and we'll show you what's inside. There's several unique things about this that I really like, so uh, let's uh, quit messing around. Let's take a look at it. Okay, and in this part of the video, uh, I kind of feel like uh, Sean at Air Photography because uh, all you're going to see is my hands for a minute. So uh, uh, anyway, let's uh, let's open this thing up. I've taken the cellophane off, and uh, this is the first time I've seen this thing uh, in 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 person yet. So let's see if I can get it off and keep it on camera. And we did manage to do that. Nice piece of foam in the top. As you would expect, uh, you get some uh, documentation. After sales card, which I always appreciate, tells you how to get a hold of them uh, if you need any kind of uh, uh, support after you purchase it. So that's always a, a welcome thing to see. And the uh, all-important user guide. And I will say this one is uh, pretty good sized. And, uh, and I appreciate it. You can read it many times. You'll get these things and they are so small that they are really hard to see. So uh, we, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at that a little bit later before I get this guy out in the field uh, and try it out. But let's again, let's see what's in the box. So uh, yeah, before we actually pull the mic out, let's see what's in this uh, auxiliary box here. I have an idea that that is going to be uh, cables and a couple of lavalier, lavalier mics. Uh, so it is, in fact, yeah, the uh, uh, the uh, carrying bag, and you got the nice Hollyland logo there. And inside, I'm quite sure we won't spend a lot of time on this, but yeah. So uh, you get your uh, your TRS cables that you're going to need. You get uh, a USB uh, to USB C charging cable. Set this stuff down, and uh, then the uh, the the wind muffs for the uh, two uh, independent uh, transmitters and we'll see how those snap on in a little bit and then you do get indeed a couple of uh, lavalier mics I won't take those out of the bag because you have all seen lavalier mics before but uh, they do have the standard uh, TRS connector there three and a half millimeter TRS connector uh, so yeah pretty much what you would uh, what expect in the kit so uh, let's get to the big deal here, and uh, that is the transmitter and receiver and charge case. Now, what makes the Hollyland system different than most other uh, uh, situations that you're going to see is this charge case, and I really like that. Number one, it's going to help you keep everything organized. That in conjunction with this bag, and I suspect it'll all fit in the bag with... Uh, with all of your uh, cords, etc. Uh, but the cool thing about this is that it's just like your uh, Apple uh, AirPods. You know, when you put your uh, AirPods back in the case, it charges them. That's exactly what this does. And just like your AirPods, you pull them out, it turns them on automatically. That's exactly what this does. So let's open this up and see. And yeah, there it is. So. Uh, that's the whole thing. I should be able to push down here. Yeah, so it needs to be charged. It's not charged at all, I can tell. It's uh, completely dead, so uh, we'll have to charge it up. 
So while we're on the subject of charging, so uh, the, uh, the, the transmitters are good for four and a half hours on a full charge. Uh, you got two of them here, and uh, they take about an hour and a half to charge from completely dead. Uh, the receiver, this guy in the middle right here, takes about, uh, it will last about seven and a half hours on a full charge and takes about two hours to charge. Now, the case, the battery in the case, will charge all of this two and a half times before it needs to be recharged. That's going to be important if you're out in the field, if you're away, if you're out you know, on, on uh, camping or something like that and you need this to work uh, without being plugged in, you can recharge everything while you're out in the field. Uh, and uh, it takes about two and a half hours to fully charge the case as well. So, uh, so let's pull out a, uh, the, uh, one of the transmitters and take a look at it. The overriding thing that I see about this transmitter that I just love is that it's small. Uh, so a couple of things uh, about it is it also automatically turns on when you, uh, when you take it out of the case. Uh, like I said, it needs to be charged up first, so we're not going to see those charge lights lit up yet. Uh, but when I get it charged up, you will. And this, my understanding, is a short press on that is a mute. Yeah. And uh, then uh, your this is your uh, microphone right there. And I will have to, I'll have to look and see how the uh, how the wind muff uh, attaches to it. But uh, that's also something that's very important to me is being able to get that uh, wind muff on there because I'm out in the field a lot and, and, and I really, really like using these individual units and just uh, attaching it to my shirt or my collar. Uh, it just simplifies things so much rather than running the wires with a lavalier mic. Now, there's a lot of good reasons for having a lavalier mic. I'm just saying uh, for what I do, uh, if, if I can do without it, that's what else. The simpler is better. Uh, so the other thing uh, about this guy is that the, the fact that it automatically turns things on when you pull them out uh, is important to me. Let me get this up so you get a little closer look at it here. And I haven't pulled any of the stickers off or, or anything, so you can see that. And I also see that there's a pocket right here that you could uh, uh, put some, uh, you know, in my case, this would make this self-contained because I could just put the TRS uh, cable in there and, and be good to go. Uh, because what I'll be doing is attaching the uh, the receiver directly uh, to my camera. So let's uh, let's pull that receiver out and take a look at it. The receiver, as soon as you uh, take it out of the case, it's going to turn it on. Uh, and obviously it's not charged up right now. And in fact, you can see there's tape over the, uh, over the charge ports. So uh, anyway, we need, to, we need to get that uh, taken care of. Uh, but you have, you have mute buttons for both mics. And uh, in my case, I am very likely just going to use uh, one, of the, one of the microphones. Let's see if we can get this to focus on there. Uh, yeah, I, do, I typically would just use one mic at a time, but occasionally I do have somebody else with me and it's just so cool. I'll be able to get us both mic'd up and uh, get audio from two different sources and you can set it to mono or stereo. So in other words, mono, you're just going to get the same sound on both tracks. Stereo, you can separate the mics so that the the they're both on a uh, on a separate track. So, uh, kind of handy to know. And and the clip here uh, is a, a cold shoe clip, so that will fit right onto the cold shoe of your uh, camera. So uh, that is what's in the box. Uh, I am really, uh, really anxious to get this guy out and try it out. So yeah, let me, uh, let me get out in the field and uh, we'll see you out there. Hey, okay, uh, we're out in the field here with the Lark 150 and this is a great day to test it because it's really, really windy. Uh, the sustained winds of over 20 miles an hour with gusts over 40 miles an hour. So good time to test and you can see the uh, transmitter right here and I have the uh, little wind muff uh, on it and I think you'll find that the fidelity is quite good. So I'm going to put on the screen right now a picture of how I have my kit in the little Hollyland charger box. Because I only typically only use one mic, 
I only need one wind muff in there so I put the wind muff and the uh, TRS cable in there and it's perfect. I can carry that kit with me and have everything I need for audio when I'm out filming. Uh, so uh, secondly here I want to show you how the receiver uh, sets up on the GoPro Hero 9. Let me get out my iPhone and we'll record some video and then we'll also uh, switch to the iPhone audio for a second and you'll hear the difference that the wind muff and this wireless system makes. Okay, so you can see the transmitter sitting on top of the GoPro Hero 9. Now the only issue that you're going to be able to see it here is it's kind of blocking the uh, shutter button there. Well, the reason for that is it doesn't fit in the cold shoe very well. You need one of those little standoff mounts. Uh, it doesn't come with a kit, but I will for sure, uh, I've got one at home and I'll be using that in the future. Uh, and then let's, uh, let's show you the, uh, the, the kind of the control center of the transmitter and I'm going to see if I can uh, turn the volume button here so you can see the display come on. So the display is on and, and you can see what's going on and you can see I have the other uh, microphone phone uh, or the other transmitter excuse me uh, muted uh, but anyway that's how it fits and I thought about putting it on the side coal shoe but as you can see the microphone on the media mod for the Hero 9 would have blocked it so that didn't work but uh, anyway that's how the transmitter sets up pretty cool elegant little solution there okay so now just for the fun of it I'm gonna switch to the audio on the iPhone so uh, you're going to hear the difference that the uh, Hollyland Lark 150 mic with the uh, wind muff on it makes because uh, I'm sure I'll, you're probably lucky to hear what I'm saying with the wind we're having out here with the uh, iPhone audio. Okay, the other thing that I want to show you, and my fingers are freezing off here, so hopefully I can do this, but uh, I really like the solution that Hollyland came up with to lock the uh, wind muff on uh, one of the uh, transmitters. So as you can see there's the mic on the transmitter and the uh, TRS three and a half millimeter hole is there if you were going to use a an external mic. Uh, so the way it hooks on is it's got a little tang on here that fits in that three and a half millimeter hole and, uh, and it uh, then goes right over the top of the mic so you just simply uh, insert it in there and like I said my fingers are cold right now but press it down and, and there it's on there what a really cool elegant solution that uh, that they came up with I think that's uh, just a great idea Boy, I wanted to put my gloves on because it's so cold but I'm not going to be able to do that because uh, using the phone here so what we're going to do now is we are going to walk away from the uh, receiver and uh, test the range. So uh, let me let me start out here. I'm going to go to the uh, measurement app on my iPhone, and we're going to start off by walking out 25 feet. Okay, that's about 25 feet. Hopefully, you can uh, hear me well there. Check one, two, 25 feet away from the receiver on the Hollyland 150. Uh, let's move out to 50 feet now and see how we do. Okay, here is 50 feet from the receiver uh, for the uh, Hollyland 150 wireless mic system. Uh, hopefully you're hearing me loud and clear. Let's go out to 100 feet now. Okay, we are 100 feet away from the receiver on the Hollyland 150. Uh, and it's real windy and my hands are really cold. Hopefully you're hearing me loud and clear. Uh, let's go out to 200 feet now. Okay, we're 200 feet away from the camera and the receiver on the Hollyland 150. So uh, I'm assuming you're hearing me loud and clear. Man, is it cold. It was a snowstorm this morning. I mean, it's, uh, if, you, if I'd have been out here a couple hours ago, this would have been just covered in white. So uh, it's definitely a cold day. Let's go out another 100 feet. Let's get to 300 feet and, uh, and see how well it sounds. Okay, we are 300 feet away from the receiver, and I can put my phone back in my pocket now because I'm not measuring anymore, and I'm going to put my gloves on because my fingers are frozen. Uh, 
interestingly enough, I'm going to walk back towards the camera here. We've got some guys out here on the field playing basketball. Uh, they're brave young souls, I'm telling you, because uh, it is just plain cold. And, uh, you know, the wind has got to be uh, affecting the trajectory on that basketball. So like I said, what a perfect day to, uh, to test this microphone system. Uh, to, if, if it works under these conditions, then uh, it's going to work for uh, almost anything else. Hey, okay, uh, so that distance test uh, worked real well and uh, nice solid connection with this system. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to back up and I'm going to walk around the microphone in about a 25 foot radius or so. Uh, so we can kind of test how it connects from the side and behind, etc. So I'm backing up a little ways. And I'm guessing I'm at about 25 feet here. So I'm going to uh, walk to my right and we'll just do a full circle here. So now I am clear to the uh, left side of the camera and walking around behind, kind of under the picnic shelter, which is probably another good test here. I'm directly behind the camera now. And let's walk around. Got to go around some of these picnic tables here, but we'll get there. I am directly to the right of the camera right now. And, uh, you know, walked out into the wind a little bit. So good test of the, uh, of the wind muff on this, uh, on this microphone. So I think that's a pretty good test of the uh, Hollyland Lark 150 microphone system. This thing is going to work really well, I believe, for uh, vloggers like me on my drone channel. Uh, I'm always searching for a way to get good audio. Often, uh, like I said earlier in the introduction, I'm walking away from the camera doing something with the drone, and I want to continue to get that good audio. So this really, really helps in that regard. Uh, and the other thing that's just critical is that I always have to get uh, uh, windproof audio. I'm always out in the weather someplace and so there's nothing that ruins your audio uh, worse than wind interference and you can't hear what's going on. Uh, now if you're somebody that uh, there, you have multiple people on the camera at all time, obviously this thing has uh, two transmitters. Another just great idea. Uh, so occasionally uh, my wife comes with me on shoots and with other people so I will be able to use that second transmitter from time to time. So the other thing that I really like about this system is the elegant little transmitter. It's tiny and the way the wind muff locks on there you don't have to worry about it uh, flying off of there. Uh, and it allows me to not have to use a lavalier mic. Uh, when I'm out in the field shooting, I'm focused on typically a drone. The audio is the last thing that I want to be worried about and stringing a, you know, the wiring for a lavalier mic, etc. cetera. So, uh, so this is a really handy solution. The other thing that I don't want to forget to tell you about is one of the other things that I like about this system is when you pull the, the transmitter and the receiver out of the charge box, uh, as soon as you pull them out of this box, it turns them on. And so I have, with other systems, hooked everything up, forgot to turn the wireless microphone on. I do a whole shoot and have no audio. So that can be frustrating. The way this thing turns them on is uh, when you take them out of the box is just a great idea. You can manually turn them off if you want to. Uh, for instance, if you were going to leave your camera for a while, you didn't want that receiver on, you, could, you can manually turn it off. So I am an Amazon affiliate and I will put the uh, Amazon link to this system in the description down below. Uh, so I guess that's about everything. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. I think this is a great system and uh, I'm going to really enjoy using it uh, in, in my endeavors making some, uh, some more drone vlogs. So uh, yeah, I guess that's everything. This is Marcus with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. 
And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. But most of all, I really, really appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And of course, we'll see you on the next one. The uh, Hollyland 150 uh, wireless microphone system, uh, pretty darn cool. All right, see you guys later.